on taking Kiev, what they're going to do is sit back an artillery range and uh, smash the people uh, and the city to pieces. So uh, maybe this is the start of their uh, new tactics. Once again, Vladimir Putin, do fuck off. Cursing the Kremlin as much as one would hope because the Chinese Communist Party is thwarting them. But I'm thinking about someone closer to home today, Boris Johnson, who gave a speech to the Conservative Party conference saying the Ukrainians were fighting the Russians in the same way the British people voted for Brexit. Brexit was a Kremlin project. Brexit was funded by dark Russian money. There's evidence that Aaron Banks was effectively a Russian asset and he gave a lot of money to Nigel Farage. And Boris Johnson too has rather close connections to the Kremlin. Boris Johnson is a cunning politician and he's popular here for the correct decision to, to send the um, mobile anti-tank uh, weapons to Kyiv. And so I think sooner or later, sooner rather than later, Boris Johnson will come to Kyiv. And if he does so, I will ask him this question. Prime Minister, why did you celebrate your election victory at the home of Alexander Medvedev, who was a Russian spy? And there's evidence that he still is, according to my Italian journalistic friends. You do know, Prime Minister, that Alexander Lebedev's book has a picture of him on it and one other man. And that man is Vladimir Putin. <laughs>